Um, okay. Hey, everybody. According to the January 2015 issue of Science, two-thirds of cancer is completely due to pure bad luck, which means there's nothing you can do about it. Which means I can finally spend some quality time with my table of vice. Oh, look at all this stuff. Eh? Oh, what should I smoke first? Mm, okay, good go over here. Wait, stop. <laughs> Bad move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is definitely not what the article is saying. It kind of is. So this study linked the rates of cellular replication in certain tissues to the lifetime cancer risk in those tissues. But of course, all of the newspaper headlines are reading that two-thirds of all cancer is based on pure luck and your genes and your lifestyle choices don't matter. But of course they do. So Jax, put that down. Uh, too late. Oh dear. So this paper actually did not compare different people with different lifestyles or different genetic backgrounds. It only compared different tissues. Let me give you an example. Tissues in the small intestine have a cancer incident rate that is three times less than brain tumor formation. This is despite the fact that your small intestine is actually in a far more mutagenic environment. So this study wanted to figure out why that's the case. They took 31 types of tissues with known amounts of cell replication and compared that to how often those tissues developed cancer. What they found out is that tissues that naturally divide more often tend to have higher rates of cancer compared to tissues that don't. So it's this difference in cell division that explains about 60% of the differences in cancer rates among these specific tissues. Now what this paper isn't saying is that getting cancer is based on pure luck. It also doesn't say that the environment has no effect. Their own figure even shows that people who smoke are more likely to get cancer. I mean, look, it's right there. Lung cancer without smoking, and lung cancer with smoking. I'll clean those up later. What this study does suggest is that cancer seems to be a natural byproduct of cell division. So this fact is actually really important for cancer researchers and doctors. With this information, they can keep an eye on tissues with high rates of replication regardless of environmental factors. In the end, an important fact is that half of all cancers are still caused by environmental influences. But what everyone needs to understand is that the odds for certain tissues to develop cancer is already stacked against you. So why would you want to push it even more by exposing them to carcinogenic environments? Ahem. <clears throat> Look, lady. I like to live dangerously. You know, it's not dangerous. Unless it's a little bit of stupid. You know who said that? Hmm? I'll give you a hint. It's Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen said that. Wait, Steve McQueen died from cancer, which he actually got as a result of environmental factors. He's not he, he's not dead. Steve McQueen lives, man. He's the coolest ever. I'm just gonna, I'm, I need some time alone here. Okay, don't touch me. Don't touch me. 